Replit Agent 3. Claude now has memory. Use any models within your VS Code, supporting Auto Mode and Agents.md. Automatically deploy application right from ChatGPT to Vercel. ChatGPT with branch in new chat feature. Kling AI avatar. Embedding Gemma. Real time video. While you draw, it automatically creates the video. Ideogram styles. Grok video now has speech and much more to cover. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Replit introduces Agent 3. It can automatically do app testing, test, fix, and retest. It has its own browser. Once after building the application, it can test the application and verify if the application is built correctly or not. If any errors, it can again fix the issue just from your browser. Longer runtime, up to 200 minutes. Agent generation, automate, delegate, and accelerate. It can automatically generate AI agents and also workflow to complete a task. Publish your AI application right from your browser. Next, Claude now has memory. Rolling out to team and enterprise plans starting today. Also introducing incognito chats for all users. So same like ChatGPT, now Claude can remember the conversation. So if you ask, help me summarize my key wins this quarter, it can go through your previous history and it can provide you the key wins. You can also view Claude memory. Next, latest version of VS Code has improved coding agent, supports agents.md, auto mode similar to YOLO mode in cursor and also auto mode in Minsurf. So this can automatically build your whole application just by giving a normal text prompt. One key advantage is that you can integrate your own model or models from any other provider with VS Code now. So go to manage chat models in VS Code. Then you got the list of providers to choose from. You got Anthropic, XAI, Olama, OpenAI, Grok, Google, and much more. Considering it supports Olama, you can run this completely for free. Build application completely for free using VS Code. It now has auto mode. So we don't need to manually choose what model to use. Based on a query, it can automatically route to the most relevant model. For simple tasks, it uses mini models. For advanced tasks, it uses advanced models. Using agents.md file, we provide instruction to AI agent. So now VS Code can understand all the instruction and work based on that. You have terminal auto approve, automatically running your terminal commands. So this is closing the gap between cursor and VS Code. Next, ChatGPT can now integrate with Vercel MCP. That means when you create any application in ChatGPT, automatically you can publish that application directly to Vercel. If you don't know about Vercel, it's a platform to publish applications. So this takes care of all the code, automatic deployment, observability, storage, and much more. So first you need to enable the developer mode in ChatGPT, clicking on that. Now we have access to connectors. Going back to ChatGPT, now clicking the plus icon, then more, developer mode. Now developer mode got selected, add sources. So clicking on that, connect more. So here you can connect whatever MCP you want. By connecting that, you provide more advanced features to ChatGPT. Not only Vercel, you can connect ChatGPT to any MCP servers, even your own MCP. That makes it super powerful. Do let me know in the comments below if you want me to create a dedicated video for this. Next, ChatGPT branch in new chat. So while having conversation in ChatGPT, if you want to ask two different questions after this section, you can click this and branch in new chat. That means it the same chat got duplicated. Now I can ask another question. And in the previous window, I can ask another question. So in that way, the previous chat history remains the same, but the subsequent question, we can change it. So that is branch in new chat feature in ChatGPT. Next, introducing Kling AI avatar. So here you can see provide an image and automatically Kling can create the avatars and add speech to that avatars, that is really nice. Next, we have embedding Gemma, a new embedding model from Google. Considering the size of embedding Gemma, even though the size is smaller, the performance is better than the 
desktop embedding models. Embedding models are generally used for a RAG application, which means a chat model can respond to your custom data. So you provide your private data and the chat model can respond more accurately for the questions you ask. So you can see the MTEB benchmark. It's much better than the top performing embedding models. Small, fast and efficient, offline by design. For on device and offline use cases, embedding Gemma is being chosen. For most large scale server side application, you can use Gemini embedding model. Next, we got Kimi K2 update. And this is an update from the previous version K2 0711. And this is performing better. And it is in par with Claude Sonnet 4. Context length is 256,000 tokens. It is open source. Weights and the code available on Hugging Face. Next, we got Quen 3 Max Preview. Compared with Claude Opus 4 Non Thinking, this is really good. So, this is one of the top performing models. Next, Claude Code GUI. Claudia is now op code with complete revamp. And it has 15,000 plus stars on GitHub. So, if you want a UI for your Claude Code, then you got op code. Next, we got warp code from prompt to production. Top coding agent number one on terminal bench, number three on SWE bench verified. And this is similar to cursor, Winsurf, and other coding tools with its own AI agent, completing the task, understanding the context, and much more. It has its own code review, native file editor, slash commands, agent profiles, and suggested code diffs. Next, from Korea AI, we got real time video is here. So here you can see left hand side, we can draw an image and based on that automatically video is getting generated on the right hand side. This is really nice. And the changes we make instantly you can see the variation on the right hand side. Next, ideogram styles. You can see various styles here. Choose the style and you got various options to choose from. Choose the style you want to create and then you can generate based on that. Next, we got grok video now has speech. So when you generate a video from Grok, it can automatically add speech with mouth movements. Next, we got GenSpark AI browser, now available on Windows and Mac. It's on device free AI. No internet required, completely private, lightning fast and totally free. Build in super agents, autopilot mode, ad free experience and one click migration. That's all for today. Considering you already like AI news, I also create another video about AI, which I'll put the link in here. And I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.